Hi, before I start by the isomers of C6H14, I will just remind you with the definition of isomers. Isomers, they have the same molecular formula but different structural formula, which means that isomers, they should have the same type of atoms, same number of atoms, but different structure by these two structures. If we count how many carbon atoms in these two structures, we can find that they have the same number of carbon atoms and same number of hydrogen atoms, but they have different arrangements, so that's why they have different names. The first one is called methyl propane, while the second one is called butane. So that's why isomers must have different names. If you have the same name, it means that it's not an isomer. Now let's start with C6H14. As you can see, all these structures, they are the same. Why? Because if I try to choose the longest chain, as you can see, all of them, they have six carbon atoms in sequence. So all these structures are the same. But this one is different because as you can see, here we have five carbon atoms in sequence and one of them is outside the sequence. Let's start by drawing the isomers of C6H14. We will start with the linear one. I will just put the carbons, later I will add the H's. So here we have six carbon sequence. I can put five in sequence and one is out of the sequence. I will put it in the middle. Let me try to put that one from above. It's going to be the same because they are going to have the same name. How oh, there is it. What if I keep the longest chain as five carbons and I add the branch to another carbon? Like if I add the branch to the second carbon, like this one. Here we have a different structure with a different name. If I add it to this carbon, it's going to be the same like the one that I wrote from a while because I can count from any end I want so they are, they are going to be the same now I will try to put four in sequence and I add two branches or two carbon atoms I can add them one to the second one to the third like this What if I add one to the third and one to the fourth, like this? It's going to be the same like the upper one, because the longest chain is going to be five with one carbon at the middle. So this one I should erase. The only possible way is if I put four carbon atoms in sequence and I do the two branches from the same carbon like this it will be different than the upper one because here we have the groups at the same carbon now let me add the edges and then start naming them as you know carbon does four covalent bonds so you just count how many bonds it's doing and complete that number with edges I will start naming the first one as you can see it is linear so it's called hexane because we have six carbon atoms the second one the longest chain is five and we have one group coming out which is methyl at the third carbon so we call it three methyl pentane because the longest chain is five the next one also the longest chain is five so we call it pentane and we have the methyl coming out from the second carbon so it's called two methyl pentane The next one, we have four carbons in sequence, 
this is the longest chain that we can have and we have two methyls at two different carbons so we call it like this 2,3-dimethyl butane the next one the two methyls are coming from the same carbon the two branches are from the same carbon so here we should write it 2 comma 2 dimethyl and also butane because the longest chain here we have four carbon atoms i think these are all the possible isomers if you could find any possible isomer please write that in the comments below now i wanted to try to write all the possible isomers of c7h16 and please write in the comments how many isomers you could find and thank you